We are tracking the return of Indian-American NASA astronaut Sunita Williams. Well, she has what we do know right now, returned back to the surface of the Earth. Her capsule Soyuz has landed in Kazakhstan as we speak. Four helicopters are trying to locate and identify the particular capsule. We're going to cut across to NASA television and get the latest updates from there. But what you are seeing on your television screen is the control room where of the NASA and uh, there seems to be a big sigh of relief because the last what we got an update from NASA was that the capsule had in fact touched down and made a clean landing. We are uh, joined in the studio uh, is Dr. Ajay Lele with us. He has been giving us constant, uh, uh, he's of course dissecting the entire situation for us, breaking it down for our viewers and telling us exactly what is going on right now. Dr. Lele, with what we were talking about earlier, is there any risk factor at all as we speak because we do know uh, that the capsule has landed or do, you, or, do, or do you reckon at this point of time that most risk factors are next now? Uh, to my mind, most of the risk factors are over but one has to really see the astronauts when they come out that in what sort of a shape they are. Then only the NASA scientists will be able to say very clearly uh, that uh, the entire mission has been successful uh, because particularly as I was explaining earlier uh, the impact while landing also makes certain amount of uh, impact onto the uh, health of the astronauts and that they will have to monitor. I think they will take certain amount of a time to really come out with a uh, truth about these things because they have to first open the capsule, take the astronauts out, do a medical examination. So it's going to take certain amount of more time I think for them to say with uh, conviction that the entire thing and entire operation has been totally successful. All right, uh, there you have it. It is a safe landing as confirmed by NASA. There uh, all three are safe is what we are getting to know. And as you can see that uh, all three cosmonauts have been extracted. Listening, let's cut across to NASA TV. You can see every now and then a snow flurry or two at the landing site, but all in all, given this time of year, the conditions are quite good. Uh, cloud ceilings were reported at about 500 feet at the time of touchdown, reminiscent of uh, some of the conditions that greeted uh, Mike Fossum and his crewmates, uh, Sergey Volkov and Satoshi Furukawa, when they landed just about a year ago. So once again, uh, the crew uh, was extracted very quickly from uh, the Soyuz vehicle, which landed on its side. Touchdown occurring uh, just 26 minutes ago about uh, 52 miles northeast of Arkalek. Once again, Sonny Williams, the Expedition 33 commander. <laughs> Within a few minutes, uh, all three crew members uh, will be hoisted in their uh, reclining chairs and brought inside an inflatable medical tent uh, to have their Sokol launch and entry suits uh, removed. There's that familiar infectious smile of Sonny Williams at the landing site. The first visuals, if we can say that, uh, of uh, Soyuz, the capsule in which uh, Sunita William has been brought safely, if I may add, back home. All smiles, everything is okay there. And in the studio, deconstructing uh, these events is Dr. Ajay Lele and uh, Mr. Gohar Raza. That's, uh, Ajay, uh, you know, Mr. Lele, we were coming to you, we were talking about, uh, you know, the Soyuz experiment. It's pretty much worked where, uh, you know, the space mission is concerned. Definitely. It has been a very successful experiment because it all started way back into early 60s and right now they have undertaken various types of missions and the Soyuz craft itself also has developed over a period of time. Right now the mention which was being made over here that they are removing the critical cargo and lighter side I will say that uh, it is known that an uh, astronaut can only carry personal cargo of around 1.5 kg over there. 
so that sort of a restrictions was there and uh, yesterday or day before yesterday where sunita williams was talking uh, even after staying there for four months she has still not uh, lost her sense of humor she was saying that uh, they had carried only one pair of clothes because she said that number one that they don't get dirty over there and number two there is nobody to impress over there 